In this video, I show you how to fix a frozen iPhone. If you find this guide useful, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please consider leaving a like and let's get right into this. At the moment, my iPhone isn't actually frozen, but don't worry because I can still go and show you the fixes that I've used before to go and get my iPhone unfrozen. So your iPhone can freeze just randomly or sometimes it's because you've been doing something or maybe because you've got like a, a beta update, but it can just be for no reason. So to go and fix it, we can actually go and use the buttons on our phone to go and do this. So all you need to do to go and basically go and force restart your phone without swiping or anything like that. So the things you have to do is basically go, I'll quickly explain it before we do it. You press the increase volume button up, then the decrease volume button, and then you just hold the power button. And I'm going to do that all now. You have to do it in the correct sequence quite quickly. So let's do it now. So what you need to do is press the increase, then the decrease, then hold the power button. And as you can see, it now says slide to power off. You won't get this option because your phone is frozen, but just keep holding the power button but you continue holding the power button and then in a minute your phone is going to go black and it's gonna go and start restarting just like that and you can then let go of the power button. Your phone is now restarting and in just a moment you're going to go and see the Apple logo and about 10 seconds later you can now go and see the Apple logo and your phone will now be restarting and it should now be unfrozen and unstuck and once it goes and starts up you can just go and enter your passcode and we can go and start using our phone just like normal again. And there we go, my phone's just but turned back on and you can swipe up and I'll need to go and enter my passcode and then we can go and use our phone like normal. And so one way to try and prevent this from happening again in the future Future, it's just to make sure your phone is on the most recent iOS update. So to do that, just go and open up your settings like so. And once you're in your settings, you need to scroll down to general, just like so. And in general, then what you'll need to do is tap on software update, which at the minute is the second option, but it may be slightly different for you. Go and tap on it there. And then your phone is going to go and check for updates. I'm pretty sure I have one, which I need to do. Um, so yeah, you need to go and download and install it. I need to do this one here. Um, but yeah, that's a quick way to go and prevent it from happening again in the future. If you guys found this video useful, please go down below and consider leaving a like. Peace.